If you're a language teacher or a language student and you're a fan of Google Translate and you use it, you are going to love this video because I'm going to show you three hidden features in Google Translate. And if you connect them all together, you'll see that you can do masses of really interesting things with Google Translate in terms of language learning. So this is great for language students and for language teachers. Really hope you like the video. And as always, please click on the like button. Please share the video. Please comment on the video. And of course, click on the new hype button for me. You get a certain number of hype points that you can give out every single month. And it'd be nice if you share some of those hype points with me. Let's get started. So as I said, the three features are connected, so I'll go through them very quickly. The first really interesting thing is that when you're working with Google Translate, you can save any of the words or phrases that you're interested in studying. So for example, if I go onto this YouTube video and I select a sentence in Spanish, sorry, in Polish, sorry, that I want to understand. Say for example, I'm going to copy this little bit here and I will show you in a minute how you can access the subtitles in a YouTube video. If I now click back onto Google Translate and paste in that sentence, I get an immediate translation. Okay. And what I can do then is click on this button here and that adds that to my list of words that I'm currently studying. Now, where can I find this list? Well, it's here. Click on saved and you will see that you've got a list of all the words that you are currently studying. Okay, and you can see that I use this tool a lot. And also what you'll notice is if you go through those words, remember you can close them, so you can just close it down, but you can open it, and then you can click on any sentence. So for example, I could click here. Czyli z kim graniczy Polska. Okay, now notice also if you want to get rid of a word, you can click here. I'm going to show you a much better way of getting rid of a word in a minute. But that is the first simple feature I want to show you, but you'll see in a minute this is all connected together. Now, of course, the language that you want to use, just click here if you want to change to a different language. Okay, very simple. And a really another useful tip is that if you've got, say, all these words, and you, you don't want to just to delete one, you want to delete them all. Well, the secret button for that is you just click up here and click on clear all saved. And that will delete all of the words. Now, I don't want to do that because I'm going to show you a brilliant trick in a minute, but that's how you can delete all the words. But remember, if you just want to delete individual words, you just click here and you can delete them that way. Now, another really useful tip connected with Google Translate is this ability to access the transcript of any YouTube video. So if I, for example, write, write in shopping in English, okay, and I'm sure lots and lots of videos are gonna come up. If I click on the filters here, what I can make sure is that all the videos have got subtitles. I can just click here. You can filter for things like under four minutes or over 20 minutes, etc., or content that's been uploaded just this year. I'm going to click on subtitles. So all the videos now that I'm going to access have got, have got subtitles. Now, this is really useful because if I click on a video, and we'll use this one here. Shelf on the end of and I'll just come down underneath and show you. You've got a button here called More. Just click on that and then scroll down a little bit further and you will find that you have a transcript button. And if you click on that Show Transcript, the transcript will open on the right hand side. Now this is fabulous for Google Translate because now what you can do is take any sentence, just copy it, okay? Just control copy or just right click and copy and then paste it into Google Translate and get the translation. So this is a really useful tip, but remember to do that, you must use the filters. Just a super quick break from the video, just to say, if you do like the video, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There are loads more free videos on the site. I specialize in making videos that show language teachers how to use technology. One other thing, if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, then you will get a free 14 part course where I show you some of the key technologies that we can use in language teaching. There really are no tricks, nearly everything that I highlight is free. That was all, let's get back to the video. 
Now, what I'm gonna show you next, I often refer to as the magic button. You've got a certain number of sentences, and if you click on your sentences, remember you can open them here, or you've got maybe just individual words, depending on how you like to study. I'm gonna click now on this button here, okay? And what that's gonna do is gonna actually allow me to export my list of words and it makes it now very easy for me to copy these and then to add them into different games so let me just show you what I mean I'm just opening up the two columns so remember I've accessed by clicking on the magic button here I've clicked on that button there then I've clicked on import data and it brings the data in then what you want to do is make sure you open up the two columns in the middle so that it's easy to copy now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just quickly copy all those words okay so I'm just going to copy come down and make sure I've selected them all I've got Polish on the left and English translation on the right I'm going to right click and copy now incredibly for example I could put these words now straight into Quizlet. M many of you will know what Quizlet is and it is a free tool. There is a free offer in Quizlet. So if I just quickly logged into my Quizlet account, so I'm now in Quizlet and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the create button and I'm gonna create a set of flashcards. So I click here and then this is the massive time saver because what I can do is I can just click on the import button and I just paste or just right click and paste those words that you've copied so I've got the Polish phrase and then the translation into English and I just click on import and it brings in all those words ready to use in Quizlet now there's just one little trick that you must remember for some reason it doesn't always pick up the actual languages so obviously we've got Polish here and English but if you just click on the very first sentence suddenly you'll notice now it says Polish and English give it a title so I'm going to call this for example I often date my sentences so I'm going to put 6th of September so I remember when I'm practicing maybe a quick description of words connected with I think this was traveling but I can't remember anyway and then click on create okay and then once you've created the game let's just uh, close that down I don't want to copy or share now I'm going to click on flashcards and the game is ready so I've literally made a whole set of flashcards and what we've got now is the Polish and then of course we can click on it and it will give us the English and I can move on to the next one I don't yeah and remember if you would prefer to start with the Polish and then translate into English very easy to do that you can just go to your settings so if you come up here and then what I would always do is I normally start with the Polish and then I've got to translate it into English and the other thing is I definitely want the text to speech on because I want to be able to hear the audio so I've done those two settings just close that down and now if I flick on the next one okay and then I can try to remember what that means okay uh, he doesn't uh, we doesn't uh, have doesn't go near the telephone or doesn't use the telephone during dinner okay I don't look or look at okay sorry okay next one uh, my mind is lighter. My okay. head feels lighter. Okay, I'm, bit, I'm nearly there. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. Now, interesting enough, you could also, remember, we've copied those words. If I was to jump over to another really popular language learning tool like WordWall, which I've also uh, used a lot, okay, and if I actually have a, a paid account, uh, if I create an activity and I, for example, create match up, watch this. I'm going to do exactly the same thing in Word War. I'm just going to paste in those words and way, I've made a whole set of flashcards instantly. Just click on done, give it a title, of course. And I've now got a set of flashcards in Word War. So this, this trick that we can use in Google translate to extract the list of vocabulary is super super useful and it allows us to make flashcards and activities from the content really quickly of course you could even take this even further you know you could okay really hope you like the video and if you do please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com there's hundreds more videos on the website there's a really popular section on teaching and using ai i specializing in making videos to help language teachers use technology 
If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.